the objective of this lecture is to understand modular view design with MVC. What is modular view design? If you uh, know the concept of master pages from ASP.NET, then probably you are aware of it. Uh, but still I'll repeat it. Suppose you have a website that consists of 100 pages. Now most likely all pages will have certain portions in common with them. Header for example will appear on each page. Left bar, the right portions, the footer they are likely to be common to each of the hundred pages. So one option would be to uh, write code for write HTML or write code for all uh, th uh, this content hundred times. That is copy paste on each of the pages. Now this option is not recommended one because it violates the principle of reusability of code. Reusability. I'll write it a bit clearly. Reusability. So it is not recommended that you copy paste the common portion of your website on each of the hundred pages. So what we do is we write this code at one place and then we we combine this page this extra code the code written at a separate place with the code for the variable part of the page. That is the varying content will be combined with the code for the master page or the code for the constant page that we have written elsewhere. In this way, we do not have to write this code hundred times but we write it once and on demand we mix it with the variable part of the code. This is a modular view design. So just like as I always give an example of a table, the top might be uh, uh, is, is, is separate, its legs are separate, drawers are separate, then finally to get a complete table nuts and bolts are tied and you get a complete looking table. This is called a modular table or a modular furniture. On similar lines, we have modular view design. Where you have certain portions of the page not repeated but written at one place. Master page. This modularity is achieved by using the concept of layouts. Then you have certain portions. These portions are calculated from a different code. And you can say these are another chocolates which will be fixed at different portions of your page. This chocolate appears at this place. Let us call this chocolate as something about stock exchange data. This chocolate is appearing at this portion on this page and maybe it appears here on another page. And even on some other pages, instead of appearing on the outer master page, this appears actually somewhere inside the content page. In all these three cases, this piece of code is actually being derived from one common place. 